In this lesson, we're going to talk about index sets. Index sets aren't formally uh, defined in any way. They're really just sets that are used as indices or labels for a collection of numbers or sets or other things. So for example, um, say we have colors red, green, and blue. And we're going to label the colors red, green, and blue as color 1, color 2, and color 3. Then 1, 2, and 3 are the indices, or the labels. And so the index set is i equals 1, 2, 3. So it's just a set that's used to label something. Let's do an example of where we might use something like this. So suppose your friend is playing four games, and the games are numbered 1 through 4. For each game, there's a chance to win a prize. The prize for game 1 is $4. The prize for game 2 is $6. The price for game 3 is $12, and the price for game 4 is $15. To compute the amount that your friend wins, we could use an index set, i, is 1, 2, 3, 4, which are just the labels for the games, right? So that's game 1, game 2, game 3, and game 4. Now we can use those labels to reference different things about each game. For example, the prize money. We could say the prize money is p1, p2, p3, and p4. So p1 is 4 because it's a chance of winning $4 in game one. P2 is six because you could win $6 in game two, and so on. If we want to compute the actual amount of money that your friend wins, then we're going to need a subset of the index set W that uh, indicates which games that he's won. So if he's won games one, two, and four, but he didn't get the prize in game three, then W, the set that he won, is one, two, four. And we could compute the amount that he won by summing over all the uh, prize amounts that have indices that are in W. So he won 1, 2, and 4, so we would add P1, P2, and P4, which was 4, 6, and 15, or 25. So your friend will win $25 in that case. So the important thing here isn't so much about this example with the games, but in how we use the index sets. So we can use the index sets to refer to the games, as well as the prize money referring to the games, as well as subsets of the index sets to refer to which games your friend has won. So these come up in a lot of different places. Two of the places are in just doing computations with numbers and uh, in set theory. So I'm going to show a common example below applied to both, but uh, there's a lot more examples and a lot of notation, so I've broken that off into another lesson, which you can find here. Uh, so follow that link for more examples and notation. One common index set is the index set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, on to infinity, or just uh, the counting numbers. So if we have a set of numbers, or a sequence of numbers, as we call it, um, a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, and we want to add up to infinity, uh, or just add up the sequence forever, we would write the sum, which is the sigma symbol, means sum, or add, from 1 to infinity. So you go from the bottom place, and then two, the top place. And whenever we say two infinity, uh, you don't actually ever reach infinity, it just means keep going. So uh, you add a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 plus a6 plus a7 and so on, and you just keep going and add up all the numbers in the sequence. Similarly, we could do this uh, with a union of a sequence of events. So if we had a uh, or sequence of sets, sorry. Uh, if we have sets a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, and we want to write the union of all of them, instead of writing a1 union a2, union a3, union a4, union dot dot dot, we write with a capital, or a, a capital, a large cup symbol. There's not, it's not a letter, so there's no capital. So it's bigger than the usual cup symbol, which, you know, the, if I just wanted to write a union b, I'd use a small symbol. And this cup is a larger one, and then the from and the to, so going from i equals 1, and then just keep going on forever uh, down the sequence. So the union a1 to infinity. The other thing that I want to show in this lesson is that sometimes uh, whenever the indices, the elements in the sequence can be written in terms of the indices, we can just write um, the indices in the operation, uh, which I don't think I said very clearly, but uh, let's look at the examples. So um, let's let i be the set one, uh, the set two, three, four, five is the index set. 
and a2 is 2, a3 is 3, a4 is 4, and a5 is 5. In other words, ai equals i, for all i. So they are just equal to their index. Then instead of writing the sum from i equals 2 to 5 of ai, if we wanted to write the sum of the numbers, we could write the sum from i equals 2 to 5 of i. So you just plug i in. And you're going to see this quite a bit too, where 2 to 5 is the index set, but the things that are plugged into the sum are actually some function of what's in the index set. So there's i itself, which means add 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, and then we stop at 5 because there's a 5 on the top. So start at 2, go to 5, and add uh, whatever i is. So 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 14. And we can do this similar thing for sets. So um, let's say that ai is the set i and i plus 2 for i equals 2, 3, 4, 5. Then if we take the union from 2 to 5 of the ai's, this would be the union from 2 to 5 of i to i, or the two elements i and i plus 2. So when i equals 2, this first one is i equals 2, we get 2 and 4 because it's i and i plus 2. Whenever i equals 3, we get 3 and 5. Whenever i equals 4, we get 4 and 6. And whenever i equals 5, we get 5 and 7. And the operation is union, so notice this is this large u, so we put small unions operations between each of those sets. So uh, this symbol here on the left just means take the union of these four sets. Then uh, 2, 4, union 3, 5, union 4, 6, union 5, 7 is just uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So um, if you can get it written out that way, then you can do the operation as usual. But oftentimes the reason we're using index sets is, well, either uh, we don't know what the outcome is going to be, such as the previous example with the wins, so we don't know what um, games that your friend is going to win, or uh, we want to add up something like an infinite number, so you're not going to be able to write it out. However, if you visit some calculus lessons and there's other places, you'll see that you can oftentimes still compute an answer.